Well, hey there, it's Thursday evening, January 4th. I've never done uh, a YouTube video recording, Camtasia recording, in the evening, but I've been doing this cold water therapy. I just got out of my 68 degree pool. I ran down for sunset and I'm feeling great. Anyway, I did a blog post the other day with my 24 favorite images from 2023, and I was shocked to see that none of them were made with the 200 to 600. So I went back and I picked 50 images from 2023 that show off the amazing versatility of Sony 200 to 600 G lens. This Willet was photographed in Imperial Beach, California, just at sunset. We can go each one and see 600 millimeters, so using the whole thing. Another San Diego shot, a beautiful Hearman's skull, and there were these strips of black sand. We can see this X of 588, so I zoomed out a little. Coronado Beach, lots of Godwits and Willets and Sanderlings, some nice sunsets. And I even used it a few times with the Pelicans. Now, one thing that folks may not have realized is that since I just bought the 400 millimeter f2.8 last year, that there's actually quite a bit of overlap between those two lenses, the 200 to 600 and the 400 to 8. So I was really going out of my way to use uh, the 400 to 8 last year. Nonetheless, I used the 2 to 6 quite a bit and made some great pictures. There's lots of room on San Diego. I have two IPTs, neither one is full. And if you want to learn to get better, email me. Wood ducks in San Diego on sunny afternoons. I'll grab the two to six and leave the big glass at home. A California sea lion in the breaking surf. When I went to Homer, I used it sparingly. Again, I had the 4028, almost brand new. And when you're going to be using it in low light, the 200 to 600, you're going to need some High ISO, 6400. I have some here with 20,000, 12,800. But with the new noise reduction techniques that I've developed uh, in Digital Basics 3, noise is almost a non-issue. And on sunny days with 7-foot close focus, 200 to 600 kills in Homer. Homer just sold out for 2024. And I'll be announcing the 2025 dates very soon. Blockheaded female. And we're always discovering new spots depending on conditions. Eagle sunset and the same spot. We'll be back there this year, that's for sure. An afternoon on the spit, a beautiful storm cloudy out of focus background, soft light. Now we're at Fort DeSoto. You have a juvenile little, little blue heron. I put him forward in the frame so I can include the beautiful reflections in the wake behind the bird. Went to Bonaire, used it on occasion, the two to six for flight, and then zooming out to 404 millimeters for a nice birdscape with the juvenile flamingos. 200 to 600 alone, a Dunlin, just announced two spring IPTs and we'll get the shorebirds and breeding plumage. This guy flexing his bill. Laughing gull jumping out of the water after a bath. Another low light situation, ISO 4000. White morph reddish egret and the same bird dancing using zone autofocus and the same bird fishing, 518 millimeters. I'll be announcing a Nickerson Beach IPT soon, probably early August, a common turn on the nest. And in situations like this, you want to be sure to use a single focusing point and either use tracking or move it around the frame. Yeah, 422 millimeters. If I had had the 600, I'd have been dead in the water. Nickerson Beach, 200 to 600, so sharp. So, so sharp. Oh, I forgot the JPEG zone in large. I tried to make it bigger. Piping plover, killing a little beach fly. And wind against sun, I just tried, 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 and came up 
with a pretty amazing shot for the bird flying away into a southeast wind in the late afternoon. I did a blog post on that and a white sky common term. Morning oyster catchers had a zillion nests, eggs, and chicks last year. Here I'm using the toe pod technique. Oyster catcher on two eggs. I don't know if that nest ever hatched. Great for flight on black skimmers. In the Galapagos, our first afternoon when we got back to the dock, I don't give up. And I think I used the teleconverter here. Let's see. Yeah, 612 millimeters at F13. Notice shutter priority in sunset situations. 200 to 600, Nazca boobies. And this shot looks pretty clean. Not a lot of noise in the shadows. So I hope that you're amazed when we see this is ISO 20,000. So when you take the 200 to 600 out instead of the 400 to 8, you're going to cost yourself seven clicks of ISO. So there's a price, but the 400 to 8 weighs over six pounds, and this thing weighs like two and a half or so, three maybe, maybe three and a half, but considerably lighter. Land iguana. 200 to 600, great for flight. Let's see, 329 millimeters. So if I had a, the 400, I'd have clipped it. And you can see the names at the top. red Bill tropic bird, swallow-tailed gull, ISO 3200, no. ISO 1250, not bad. Another land iguana on South Plaza. And boy, oh boy, before I switched to Sony, this shot was only a dream. Impossible. Galapagos Shearwater. So, so fast. Great frigate bird, point blank. It's not likely that I'll do another Galapagos trip, but if you're interested, bug me. Swallowtail gull, late afternoon light landing. Cloudy day, great frigate bird chick. And then back to Fort DeSoto. I'm doing Fort DeSoto in the spring and the fall. This, I think, was a fall shot with the 200 to 600. Snow egret. Great for flight. We've seen that. It doesn't matter if it's just the sky background or for this royal turn or this is a Forster's turn with the beautiful... Uh, vegetation on the beach background. Super sharp. Same afternoon Caspian turn. I think it's adult winter Caspian turn. A little blur in the morning with the two to six. Sweet, sweet light. Let's see, this must have been morning. No, 6.48 p.m. Wow. In October. Marble got with a lugworm. When I'm feeling lazy, even if it's cloudy, I'll take the 200 to 600. You look at this image, clean as could be. You look at the ISO, 12,800. Remarkable. Again, see my new double noise reduction techniques in Digital Basics 3. Greater yellow legs. Short build out of this one with the teleconverter. 2,500th of a second at F9. Reddish egret dancing with the 200 to 600. And one of the neat things about coming on an instructional photo tour, an IPT, is that I will grab a nice image from one of the participants. This was Paul Marburg. Uh, I forget if there's an H in his name or not. I don't think so. So that might be an error up there. Anyway, we got this tame bird, double crested cormorant, on a soft light morning. And I had to beat it into Paul with a stick about using the high ISOs and exposing to the right. But look at this beautiful picture. And here we had Andrew Schoenbeck, who showed up with a new 200 to 600. Never used Sony before. And had him going great guns in five minutes. That could be you. So hope you enjoyed this short video and you have a great evening. Have a great 2024. And again, I hope to see you on an IPT. If you learned anything, you want to subscribe to the blog.
Do that by visiting and clicking on the subscribe tab. Have a great day. Love you much. Artie.